what I'm going to do right now is create a mobile application. But I want to show you a couple of things first. So I'm in my workspace here. And in every workspace, when, when they're created by default, almost always in one, there's a sample database application that gets installed to the workspace. And when you run it, this is what it looks like. This application, hopefully everybody's familiar with this one. It's been around uh, for quite some time now. And with each new release of Apex, it's usually enhanced a bit to include and demonstrate some of the features within the product. So you can always learn from this app. It's a simple app used to maintain data like customer information as we see here. We can drill down and maintain a customer. We also see products. Note that we can actually see the product before we drill down into it to maintain it. In addition, one of the things that they added in the most recent release was this ability to search. So for example, if I want to search for, uh, let's see if I can find a customer in here like Logan. Type in Logan. We land on a search results page and we have a couple of links we could use. So it works about as we would expect it to. Now what we're going to do today is create basically the mobile version of this application. We're going to ignore the fact that there's this link begging to be clicked for mobile and we're going to create it from scratch right now. All right. So let me get started. Seem to have been logged out of my workspace. Let me get logged back in here. Okay. So first thing, I have this uh, placeholder here because, well, that'll become more obvious in a second. So the first thing I need to do is just delete this placeholder application. We'll get rid of that, and now we can go ahead and create our app. So I'll hit the Create button. And this will be a database application, but I need to use this specific app ID. The name of the application I'm creating will be sample database application, but of course we're creating the mobile version. Now this part's important down here, user interface. We need to change it from desktop to jQuery mobile smartphone. I hit create, confirm, and we're done. We now have a mobile application. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Have a great day. Just kidding. <laughs> we actually just have a shell, right? We still have a lot of work to do. So what I want to do first, hopefully this will work. I'd like everybody here today that has either a tablet or a smartphone to go to this URL, bit.ly forward slash Apex Mobile Demo. It's a little long. Sorry about that. Apex Mobile Demo. If you're here and you don't have a tablet or a smartphone, you're probably in the wrong webinar. <laughs> but it, it, honestly, if you don't, that's all right. You can follow along with what I'm doing on screen, but I think it will be more interesting, more fun if you go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to wait just a moment while folks put this up, and I see that Dave's gotten this in the, in the chat, so looks like I can go ahead and move on. I appreciate that, Dave. All right, so we're here on our first pattern. This is the sign-in pattern couple of notes on this particular pattern. The first three are going to one thing in general, which is to keep it simple, right? This is a screen that your users are going to encounter in almost any app that they access. And you want to make this page as simple as possible. Don't keep them out of the app. Let them get into the app. Don't innovate here. Also, provide some help in case they need it. That's the general idea. What kind of page did we get for login? What I'm going to do is run my app. I'm going to right click here, open it up in another tab. I'm going to pull this tab out and then I'm going to resize it. This is close to what I need and that should be about right. So here's our login page. Um, not exactly what I would consider great, but unless we have something to compare it to, we might actually think that this is good enough. Well, what kind of patterns are there out there? Here are a couple from the book. Uh, really good examples, by the way. These, these look sharp. And I'll tell you, to do this, it takes some effort. 
So they're rather common, right? We have some username and password fields, nice and big, take up the full width of the screen. Nice big login buttons, you can't miss those. Down here we see options uh, to sign up if you maybe already, uh, or if you don't already have an account. And then, of course, the help we talked about in case you need it. Another pattern is to put a screen in front of the login screen to let the user specify whether or not they have an account and go from there, right? Sort of a fork in the road instead. Both of these are common. Users know how to use them both, so you can make use of them. Now, what a lot of these examples do in addition, they also show us what application it is that we're logging into, right? That's kind of important. 